I salute you, Gilded Legion. This is Karaxu coming to you with another video. And like you can see, that there is the XP butler from the previous video. And um, yeah, it appears it is very, very inaccurate. It, like, an XP bottle drops between 3 and 11 XP, which means that at higher levels it becomes incredibly, but like, incredibly inaccurate. So it would only be available for really low levels, and even then, you could have a lot of loss or a big advantage in your winning strategies so i have refined this entire thing it now no longer uses experience bottles though so it'll get a new name as well and the solution is behind me uh don't mind that that's for something entirely different i'll, I'll come back to that one day you have here two dragons to choose one is for making uh, XP into runes, uh, rune tags, which is this one. You can see like the runes hovering around, and this one is for releasing the power of those runes back into experience. So, to illustrate how it goes, I'll just send here and gain all the levels. I mean tags. There you go. And now all my levels are stored in these. One of these is one level, like it says so in the lore. And if we stand here, we'll get it back. See? Now, you might wonder, like, okay, in that case, what if I happen to find, uh, like, another item tag? Um, and I call it level ticket. So, uh -huh, well, then what? Well, I've prepared this. Uh, this is exactly the same name, same item, however, this one has lore, this one has not. You will see what will happen. 3, 2, 1. The end of it. It does not take away this ticket. This means that I can completely control what a player has, unless the player cheats so hard that he or she, okay, that he or she completely, um, duplicates this but uh, I have enough control to say that this is just this and nothing else okay so using lore I can like distribute items that the player could find himself or get himself somehow um, but still have special effects on them so this will definitely come in handy in other maps now how does this work slash gay mode one like I said, there is no level gap on this. You can do this from level 1 onwards to level 10,000. But good luck carrying all 10,000 things. Okay, I, I'm, I'm sick of this. Let's just get all of these and completely throw them away because I do not want any sounds tinkering about. Um, Sony Vegas has this weird glitch for me where it doesn't really allow me to play the correct sounds. So you will not hear any Minecraft sound at the moment. Yeah, that's a thing. Anyways, so how is it structured? It is actually structured completely like there. You have a hopper clock which has an output, which is this. It, well, pulses. And this checks for a player in a radius of 4 with a level minimum of 1. Since all upwards levels are there, we do not need a cap. Obviously, this makes the enchantment table um, particle effect, which results in these runes, which look okay for it. Which look okay for it. Um, and after that, it will power that inverter, which will obviously de depowers the torch and makes this um, hopper clock run. This hopper clock will pulse and it will set the level of the nearest player with one down. Then it will continue with um, giving the player this level ticket with a lower magical rune good for one level. I will scroll to the front so you can see it completely. The, all the commands will be in the description as well. And then play Mob and Dragon Wings, which gives a nice flappy sound. Now I will put this into the... In the uh, I will put the download for this world in the description for how long it will be available. I do not know. Uh, maybe I, I should make like a um, 
test world type deal where I have like one world that I can place on my Dropbox. I think that's a good idea. And then I can take away that because you're not allowed to know what it is. <laughs> not yet at least. You, you will in due time. Uh, anyway, where was I? Yeah, okay. So you have just gained all your level tags thingies. Here you have another hopper, just like the previous one. It makes this run. Now what this one does is, I tried using a test for, for all the lore and whatnot, but it kept giving me errors. So instead I used a clear command. Basically I clear on the nearest player who is in a radius of 5, basically the person who's standing on top of there, um, a name tag, but I do not take any of them away. I gave a value of 0, so basically I tell I tell Minecraft to take away nothing of this item. So it will know that this item is there and the command block is successful, but it will not take anything away. And I basically like the entire display name, level tickets, lore, blah, 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 blah. Okay. When that is correct, so basically when the player has this item, you know, that one, uh, this gets powered, this gets depowered, the clock starts running, and then you get like an actual clear command. So basically I use two clear commands to do the same thing, but it's, it's something. Um, so I clear this from the player, obviously if I would do it that there, it would continuously be powered and it would just give you one and you have to go away and back and away and back before it would work. Anyway, this completely does remove one at a time and it, it's basically looking the same. It has like a repeater there, which gives one level at the player in a radius of four and then play sound random orb. Basically it gives the ping sound, which you do not hear, but I have heard far, far too much. Anyway, that is about it for this video, I believe. Um, oh yeah, right, you will need the snapshot. What is it now? Um, maybe it is on screen, maybe it isn't, but you'll need 1.8 or the latest snapshot for it to work. At least uh, if the latest snapshot is not one where this is broken. Normally it should be, but hey, you never know. All designs get broken too by Minecraft, so yeah i think with that i have said everything i wanted to say this is the experience bottling well it isn't bottling anymore so called experience to item conversion or xp conversion maybe expired conversion something like that i'll see when i edit this so with that said i am done here Thanks for watching and I will see you all real soon. Bye bye.